hired y'all, well, change the plans. That load didn't work out too well, so we're just gonna drive on home empty because I'm still getting paid either way, so it really doesn't matter. Um, it's the reason why I was one of those, just to try to see if it will work out or not. And it didn't, so since it didn't work out, it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm driving back without being paid in a sense since the you know load I delivered this morning pays you know empty miles in loaded miles like usual so it was no big deal it was just a try it if it worked out cool if it didn't so I don't know how long I'm gonna drive for or anything along the lines of that but I got the rest of the night tonight and all day tomorrow to get home so I don't know what I really want to do. I got 10 hours, pretty much basically 11 hours to get home. Uh, and if I truck it all tonight, I won't be home until 4 a.m., which is possible, because you guys know me, I've done it before. If I don't truck it tonight, I'll probably do maybe half of it. Run about five hours tonight which will put me at around 10 o'clock, stopping at around 10 o'clock, and truck the other five tomorrow, something along the lines of that maybe. But I don't know, we'll find out as I go. It's going home. Getting our fuel entered in here. Diesel, we are 177, 852, 177, 852, cost was 711, 23, which was mud flap, it was like 640 something, AC, NT I guess is the place name, AC and T, location is Hagerstown. So, E R S T O W N. Hagerstown. Let's take our picture. If I can with one hand. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Alright. Go, got our picture. Save it. Alright, we're ready to roll. Fuel wasn't the cheapest here, but I needed fuel. Um, otherwise, I would have waited till I got in Ohio, but it is what it is. This will get me home. So, uh, I don't know how far I'm going to drive tonight. I'm going to just drive until I get tired, in a sense, because I have nothing behind me, so it really doesn't matter. But um, let's see how far we are. Ten and a half hours, pretty much. Yep, ten and a half hours. So, guess we'll just keep riding until I don't feel like doing it anymore and wake up and finish it in the morning. Alright, guys. Got little stuff to drink. I really should have threw away trash, but it is what it is. Ready to hit the road. Uh, probably gonna scrape coming out of here nine times out of 10, but I guess we'll find out. This turn to get out of here is tricky. Turn right onto South Potomac Street. Already seen one guy do it wrong. He got pretty much stuck over here. It's not that hard of a turn, it's just tricky. Because that drop off.
Oh, almost missed the gear there. You can tell I'm getting tired already. I ain't even shifting right. at the uh, shipper uh, the reason I didn't get loaded was because of the pallet jack and I wasted a bunch of time sitting around waiting on um, waiting on them to tell me whether they're gonna load me or not and I'm happy they at least didn't you know take the trailer because it's it was on the port and if any of you guys have ever you know picked up at a port you know that if you don't have a TWIC card uh, you can't really go on the port somebody else has to take the trailer get it loaded and bring it back to you which is what the yard yard jockeys do so over there they charge you um, they charge you $70 to take the trailer, get it loaded, and bring it back. Well, if they take the trailer and bring it back and it got rejected, they they charge you double. So just my luck, they would have took the trailer with the pallet jack in it told, and then said they couldn't load it and then brought it back and charged me an extra $7. So at least the people were nice enough to tell me that they weren't gonna load it and everything else and just didn't take the trailer at all. So I didn't have to pay anything. I pretty much went in and turned around and came back out and left in a sense, so waste of time but not really at the same time yeah i could have been halfway home if not a little bit more than halfway home by now but you know it's it's one of those things where if it would have worked out it would have gave me some extra money but it's not like i needed the backhaul since i'm i get paid empty miles as you guys should know if you've been watching for a while so my seed load paid me coming out here and going back. That other load was just because I was empty. If it would have worked out, it would have been put extra money in my pocket. Thus, in a sense, as of what I call doubling your money, which I try to do uh, from time to time if I'm coming back empty and I don't have uh, immediate reload for uh, um, RXO when I'm doing seed. So as of right now, I don't have another load so it would have worked out perfectly because I could have got this dropped off tomorrow, got home, and then my next load would have been Thursday and Friday if something does come up for Thursday and Friday. Which I won't know until tomorrow because the load I was going to take wouldn't have worked out because uh, we had to kind of have them switch the dates if it would have worked out, but it wouldn't have worked out. It was a load going out. Um picking up today which my dad would have picked up for me um going to deliver into missouri tomorrow and then going to deliver the other half in kansas on thursday well we try to get them to push it back but still pick up today um delivering no it would have picked up today because what today's wednesday no today's tuesday so it would have picked up today first half would have delivered tomorrow and then the second half would have delivered on thursday we tried to get them to push it back so i could have it picked up today which my dad would have picked it up deliver um thursday morning the first half deliver thursday in missouri and then the second half deliver in kansas on friday and i would have took that load and that would have finished out my week and then i would have just drove back empty on friday from kansas back home uh, my parents and my brothers and uh, some of my family members are going on vacation this week. I'm deciding I'm not going to take off this week. I'm going to keep running. I uh, normally would take vacation off with them, but I'm not taking vacation this week because I don't see a point. I don't really have anything to do. So if I don't have anything to do, I'd rather work than take, um, take a vacation. There's no point in missing out on the money if I'm not going to do anything anyways. 
So, uh, so I'm just trying to get figured out what I want to do for the rest of the week. Hopefully, RxO sends over me two loads for Thursday and Friday. So I'll have some stuff for Thursday and Friday. I'm hoping it's something that goes back out again. Maybe something picking up Thursday, going out, delivering um, Friday morning and or Thursday afternoon and coming back for Friday or something along the lines of that. It's what I would like, but we don't really know until they send stuff over. So it is what it is, but go and get on down the road. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how far I'm gonna drive. Once it starts getting darker out, I start getting a little tired, but I could run into the night as far as I wanna run, if I wanna run, but I don't really have to run. So since knowing I don't really have to run, I'm probably gonna stop as soon as I feel tired. If I gotta run, I can run wherever I need to go, but you know, there's no point in pushing myself when I don't have to. I save that for times when I actually have to push myself to go wherever I need to go or whatnot so I'm gonna get on down the road see what happens I don't know how far I'm gonna try to do four hours so I do four hours that'll leave me five hours of drive tomorrow so I kind of split the trip in half but I don't really know so I'm trying to at least make it home at a decent time tomorrow um, but I also got to stop at a decent time tonight so I can edit yesterday's video. So it can go up tomorrow. Yeah, so it can be rendering and upload tomorrow. And then this video will go up Wednesday, right? No, the video that I just recorded to go up, because I just had a video go up today and Monday. So this, the video that I recorded previously will go up tomorrow and this load will go up Thursday. And then hopefully if I have a load that's good for Thursday and Friday, you guys will get a video for Friday and Saturday. And then I don't know if I'm gonna keep continuing doing the whole daily vlog thing. So far it hasn't been too bad because I've been trying to keep my videos shorter so it's easier for me to edit and I can get it edited real fast and get it thrown up without being like a quick video just to get something up. I still try to make it somewhat of a quality video. So I don't know, we're just kind of, I'll kind of basic by, by the weeks of what I'm doing and so on and so forth. But huh, it's been a long day already and I ain't really done much. So it's what happens when you sit around. When I sit around, I get tired and I don't want to drive after that. I'd rather wake up in the morning and just get straight to it. If I'm going to pick up a load, I'd rather pick up my load and just get, you know, get straight to it instead of sitting around and stuff like that. But I'm sure once I get kind of set in and get driving and get the music right and everything else, I'll probably just coast on out and who knows, I may make it all the way home. But we shall see how it goes. change them all out to either blues 
which if I do blues, they're going to be uh, dual revolutions because I don't want to run blue all the time because I know it's bad for your, uh, for your eyes. But if I do blues, do I go blue and red? Or do I go blue and amber? Or do I just put amber in here? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out, but leave some, uh, oh, excuse me, leave some, uh, some uh, thoughts in, in the comments about what color should I put in here if I were to put some more watermelon lights in here because I want to put more in here, uh, preferably up top. Um, so there's more light in here, especially on the floor. I need I need more light on the floor because it's what I have is not enough. Because that's all I got on the floor. It's all dark here pretty much. It looks lighter in, on camera than it does in person. But I want to put another watermelon light up here and another one up, uh, by the clutch. And I'm going to move those two. And then I think I want to try to put one over there somewhere. So when I go to do all that, I just don't know if I want to stick with red light or if I want to switch out the light to maybe a dual revolution blue and amber and run amber in here. Or do I go blue and red? So. Let me guys know what you think. finally um, I don't know I got to a point where um, I just was driving and music was going and I just zoned out and I was just moving it's like 11 o'clock at night now uh, I'm about six hours away from home which is somewhere around where I really wanted to park at um, around five to six hours away from home so not too bad but I'm going to get ready for bed. I mean, I'm not in the best place I really like to stop at, but I'm at a rest area, but I'm not in the rest area. I'm on the on side of the rest area. I never park on the exit side because people be flying off too fast, and that's how you get hit while you sleep. If you're going to park on the side of the road or on the side, uh, on the side of the road, rather that's anywhere that you can park on the side of the road, always park on the on side because people are driving slower getting onto the interstate than they are getting off the interstate tip that's a really good tip but yeah i'm gonna call the night i got all the blues running i'm probably gonna leave them on tonight so everybody can see the truck um but i'm gonna stay up probably for another hour or so and get um my last video edited since it shouldn't take me horribly long to at least get it edited so it can start rendering tonight. So it won't take too long to get it uploaded. Too late for you guys tomorrow. So, huh. This is where I'm going to end it. Well, the truck just finished regenerating, which is what I wanted it to do. Uh, am I going to end this one here? Um, let's see. Got all day tomorrow. So, I'm going to continue this video tomorrow all right well 
Good morning. It's uh, 8.30. Uh, woke up probably about 30 minutes ago. Tidying up the truck, got the bed made and stuff, and letting this video render or whatnot. But uh, I'm about to get outside and brush my teeth. Just brush my teeth outside the truck so I can do whatever. And, do a quick little walk around because I'm on the side of the road so got to make it quick so I don't get hit but quick little walk around and um, get ready to hit the road again we are six hours away from home which I'm pretty sure I would set that last night at some point but I can't even remember what I filmed last night so six hours away from home we're looking at 1 30 so probably about the time i get ready to actually start leaving we'll probably be getting home at around two something then i gotta i'm gonna stop and get fuel to top the truck off before i get home so it'll probably be like 2 30 3 o'clock so that's kind of what i planned um what i wanted so not too bad so a little bit more to go and be home and figure out what i'm doing tomorrow and Friday. guys well we done made it home i'm here at the shop now i'm leaving the truck and trailer attached up here in front of the shop because i need to charge that pilot jack because it's like down to 10 percent so i can use it for tomorrow i'm heading to missouri tomorrow so don't know if i'm gonna record another day or not i guess we'll figure out how i feel but uh with that being said i hope you guys liked it like comment subscribe share check out all the instagrams and everything if you want to communicate and uh catch you guys later peace I go ball, I go hard with my dogs, spit it.